Hey, squadron mates. Hope you guys are doing well. Time for another review. As you can see by the box here and by the title of the video, we're looking at the HGUC Pale Rider Space Type. The kit came out in 2017, though the original Pale Rider, I believe, came out in 2014 or 15, because they first released the ground combat type, then the space type. But as soon as they announced this one, I knew I had to pick, <laughs> pick one up just because I really like it. And it's a 2,000 yen kit, but good luck actually paying 2,000 yen for it. Once in the box, you're going to find a huge sheet of stickers, and I'll explain why you get so many here in just a moment. Here's what the polycaps look like, which is just kind of a standard high-grade set. And you get a pair of Saber 13s. Moving on to the plates, here we have the main body in blue, kind of a light blue. Here's one of the new plates for the space type, which includes the shoulders and the shield. Here's some gray for our inner frame. This tray actually came off the ground type because you can see the ground rifle and part of the ground type shield there. Our first tree of navy blue, which has some of the outer armor and the feet and the leg thrusters. A multicolor plate for the rifle and the Gatling gun. One of my favorite weapons on this kit, by the way. And you get two visors, one red, one green. Just as with the stickers, I'll explain the red in a bit. And once my camera comes into focus here, here is what the honestly pathetic manual looks like. No cover picture, no nothing. It's just like your typical P Bandai, where all you get is the assembly instructions, and that's it. Coming back to the stickers and the dual colored faceplates, though, you can build this suit either with the Hades system on or in normal mode. And since I built the ground type with the Hades system active, for the space type, I decided to go normal. And after all is said and done, here's what you end up with. You can see here on the head, the sculpting is actually very, very nice. I like all the detail, and the sticker that you've got for the eyes actually does show through that visor. I'm very impressed by that. But I will tell you guys straight up, there are a ton of stickers on this kit. When you add the torso on, you can see how this kit is going to start to bulk out. And yes, the Gatling is part of the backpack with those thruster pods. I did try lining them, but it didn't come out too well in my mind. But anything there that's white, that's stickers. For articulation, the head will go up and down. You do get a full Exorcist 360. You do also get a funky chicken and a, well, excuse me for the pop of the neck out, but you do also get what I'm going to call a herpaderp. Once you put the waist on, uh, the only other things that you get are the storage for the beam sabers. Part separation isn't too bad. You do get some uh, dark gray and you do get a back-breaking twist, but that belt for the Gatling gun is really going to impede your motion. Now coming to the legs. Let's get the skirt up out of the way. The side skirt doesn't move that much, but you do get a very good forward kick out of the universal joints for this thing. But not that far back, because as with just about all your high grades, that back skirt will not move at all. And you do actually get a decent amount of splits, and you get a uh, rotation at the thigh. Very, very good double bend out of the knee for some good kneeling poses, should you want to try that. Mine can be just a little bit loose on the hips. And then a crazy good amount of motion from the ankle, both front to back, side to side, all the way around, and motion in the feet, even though they are solid. Putting the arms on finally, and watch out for that thruster there on the back of the shoulder, because that will catch on just about everything when you try to rotate it around. And it's honestly quite annoying. Yeah, see how that lip right there will catch onto the can for the Gatling gun? 
Your shoulders will move in and out. And then you've got yourself a bicep cut. A very, very nice double elbow for a full 180. And then probably the original wrist design that has never been changed as far as I know. For accessories, you get this very cool looking shield, but all the dark blue on this thing is stickers, except for that piece on the back. And it does plug into the forearm quite nicely, I must say. It's very easy to work with. You get a hyper beam rifle that I actually quite enjoy using. This is kind of the beam rifle that you get off an RX-78 4 or 5, which they don't really have a high grade of yet. But the detailing and the molding is quite nice. It just slides into the hand, and you're all good to go. Before we move on to the Gatling gun, which I think is the main attraction of this kit, we're going to also take a look at the beam saber handles. They just store on the hip skirts right there and pop right into the hand. It's a little loose, but it's going to hold it no matter what. Now on to the Gatling, the reason I got this kit. I love the look of the weapon, and even though I'm able to get it in the hand right here, as you can see, because it just slides in like the beam rifle, it's not the greatest connection. At least for mine, my wrist likes to pop out quite a bit. But if you get a good one, you can get some pretty good poses out of it. And here is the space type along with my ground type in Hades mode. You can actually see quite a bit of difference in the stickering with how the Hades mode is activated. So the final thought is, do I recommend this kit? That's a hard one. I enjoyed putting it together, but I didn't enjoy the price. But then again, it's P Bandai. So if you guys liked the review, then I would say go ahead and get it. I also want to thank you guys for checking this review out. Hope you guys have yourselves a good day. Take care of yourselves. If you're new to the squadron, welcome. And I will see you guys at the next one. Bye-bye.